is going on everybody it's acorn man here back with another lego star wars review and today we're going to be talking about the 75342 republic fighter tank released in the spring of 2022 the set includes 262 pieces and retails for $40. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and comment down below if you're a fan of this set or enjoy the review. And without further ado, let's start the review the same way we always do with the box. As you can see, we have the Republic fighter tank itself up in the front, surrounded by Mace and his 187th troops. We've got our set info up in the corner, and the minifigs on the lower right. Such a good selection, can't wait to break these down. Although I have no idea as to why the airborne trooper is labeled as a commander. And on the back of the box, as always, we have the contents and features of the set. Not too many here, but not too bad for what you're paying for. And that'll about wrap it up for the box. Let's get into the minifigures. Alright guys, so here we have the minifigures of the set. Six in total. First up, we've got Mace Windu looking absolutely great in his Clone Wars uniform with his signature purple lightsaber. Quite a bit of detail in his Jedi robes, complete with arm and leg printing. This minifigure is just a 10 out of 10 for me. Can't forget about the back printing as well. Overall, just a really solid figure here. And next up, we have the 187th Legion Clone Trooper, of which the set includes two. Very well detailed, although unfortunately lacking arm printing. But you do have to remember this is just a $40 set. I absolutely love this vibrant shade of purple they chose for these clones. It really makes these guys stand out in your clone army. And of course, he has back printing as well, and a face underneath. Very standard clone face, but what would you expect? Another very solid minifigure, and like I said, the set includes two. Lego, if you were at all listening, please put these guys in a battle pack. And lastly, for the clones, we have the 187th Legion Airborne Trooper, or Commander as the box calls him. But I really don't care because we have another fantastic minifigure on our hands here. Would have been really easy to give this guy the exact same details as the regular 187th Troopers, but nope, he has a style all his own. Still no arm printing, unfortunately, but very good detail on the chest, legs, and back. And this one also has another standard clone face. Would absolutely love to see this figure return in a battle pack as well. And lastly, we have two battle droids. What could I possibly say about these guys that I haven't said a hundred times already? They do come with slightly metallic gray blasters instead of the usual black ones. Not really sure if that's going to mean anything to anybody, but it's nice for the set to include a couple of droids for your clones to fight against, as well as helping to build your unintentional droid army. I know I certainly have one at this point. And here we have the Republic fighter tank itself. I absolutely love the white, crimson, and lime green color scheme, as we see throughout many Republic vehicles, including the gunship. Would have kind of been cool to see it in the purple 187th colors, but this color scheme is going to allow this set to fit in much better with your clone army, so overall this is what I would have preferred. I can't say this build is absolutely perfect, I'm really not a fan of the way this door does not completely close. When I was first building this, I tried so hard to push this in, and yeah, that happened. So just be aware that that gap is totally normal, and there's really nothing you can do about it. On each side we have a rotating cannon, also armed with a flick fire missile. For display purposes, you might want to take those out. They do rotate very well, very easily, although they don't have the biggest range in motion. And it's pretty easy to accidentally set those missiles off. You can also open the hatch on the very top and easily insert one of your clone troopers. You can also access this area a little bit better by folding down the back hatch. Take that back, there's actually not a whole lot of space in there at all. But as I'm sure you can probably see down in there, there is a seat for a clone driver to be inserted at the front of the tank. So I will go on and throw one in right there, and try not to lose this guy at the top. And once you have your driver secured, you can simply close the hatch, still left open of course, really trying to not let that bother me. As you might have noticed, the model does have two windows right here, although there is no actual way for your clones to see out of those, which is a little bit of a bummer. But overall, it's pretty decent. It does roll very well, it does have a decent amount of detail. In the stickers, I'm sure you've noticed quite a few on this one, but they were pretty easy for me to apply, so I don't really have any big problems with it. Obviously would have preferred to see those printed, though. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap up my review on the 75342 Republic Fighter Tank. And honestly, I'm a little bit mixed with this one. Overall, I think the build is okay. I definitely don't dislike it as much as some, but I also think they could have done better. Would have liked to see it a little bit heftier for $40, but I don't think it's too bad. I really enjoy this vehicle in particular, so part of me is just really glad to see one on the shelves. But I can't pretend like it's perfect. I have to admit, where this set really shines are with the minifigures. Mace Windu looks absolutely fantastic, and having our first batch of 187th Legion clone troopers is really, really great to see. Like I said, if someone from LEGO, anyone is listening, please put them in a battle pack. Literally no one does not want that. And the two battle droids are a decent enough inclusion. Would have been nice to see a super battle droid or literally anything else, but I digress. 
Overall, I give this set a 7 out of 10. Overall, pretty good, and I would recommend that you go and pick one up, although maybe wait until a sale comes around. And I think that's going to be it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe to the channel for more reviews and additional LEGO Star Wars content. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.